Spikes, if you're watching this video right after it's been released, you need to head over to our Twitter right away. If you follow us and follow GameGenic, you're going to see instructions on how you can win yourself one of four Bastion 100 Plus XLs. They're not even for sale yet, and you can bring one to your LGS and show it off. Seriously, go do that now and watch the video when you come back. We'll be drawing four lucky winners on September 1st, 2023. What is up, Spikes? I'm Elliot, this is Bill, and we're here in the Spike Feeders World Headquarters today to bring you a demonstration of this new product, the Bastion 100 Plus XL from GameGenic. Uh, this demonstration, we're gonna kind of show you uh, how you can use these in your everyday trading card game needs, and uh, it is sponsored by GameGenic. Mm -hmm. So just get that out of the way up front, and uh, We'll get right into things here. So first thing we wanted to show you is, you know, if you already have some game genic products like Ooh. the lovely Dungeon S550, five, one, two, three, four, five of these uh, Bastion 100s fit in your dungeon. It's got a little bit of wiggle room here. If you purchased the, uh, this is actually the Professor's uh, Kickstarter size morph, or they will be available there, uh, on their own Very from shortly, retail shortly as well. You can yeah. use that to fill the space. Uh, leaves you some room for like a notepad, a pencil, something like that, or uh, even even some dice, you know? Yeah, dice or a life counter sort mm -hmm. of deal. The double life counter, that would work too. Exactly. Yeah. As you can see, they've got a bunch of different colors. Uh, the ones we were holding in the intro were like blue, purple. They've got clear. They've got green, white, yellow. That one's yellow. <laughs> Orange, I'd call it, but I'm colorblind, so. <laughs> uh, and we've got this special edition one, which is half and half uh, kind of thing you can do. So what we've got going on, why don't you tell us a little bit about, I guess, uh, some of the, I guess, setups, the orientations we've got <laughs> in these uh, deck boxes. So we have a couple different uh, variations of how you would normally sleeve a deck. We have all the way from uh, the thinnest uh, sort of permutation of it, which would just be single sleeved in game genic sleeves. Mm -hmm. We also have all the way up to uh, dragon shield sleeves, which are generally considered to be about the thickest sleeve in the market with uh, thick inner sleeves as well. So we have kind of a, a spectrum of um, just about the smallest that a commander deck will be, as well as just about the biggest. And as somebody who had uh, one of their main decks in dragon shield and uh, thick inners, it was a hassle trying to find something to actually put uh, that deck into without it being uh, very precarious. Uh, so the fact that this exists now is actually kind of a game changer. So um, let's take a look at, uh, let's go with the thickest one, honestly, because I think that's going to be the, the, the most important and impressive uh, showcasing of this. So this is uh, actually with Game Genic Thick Inners uh, and Game Genic Outer Sleeves. Mm -hmm. So this is still, as you can see, uh, a pretty, <laughs> a pretty chonky deck. Uh, like this is, again, just about as, as, thick as a deck will be. Mm -hmm. um, I, I'm not one to use uh, measurements on the fly, but if I had to guesstimate, this is like, that's like what, three feet? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so it's it's very tall. Mm -hmm. um, also for disclosure, we did just uh, very freshly sleeve, sleeve this, so there is some amount of air still in there, but even pressing it down, this is thick. This will not fit in most deck boxes. Mm -hmm. However, with the Bastion, you can see it actually fits in here quite nicely, quite snugly. Uh, and then you would just be able to put this, the top back on. It locks on really nicely and keeps you nice and safe. Um, the thing that is nice that I actually didn't demonstrate here because I put the commanders it's in It's okay. Other way. Here's one I prepared earlier. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, there is um, the back half is actually an unobstructed piece of plastic. So if you have these up on a shelf or in a deck box and you want easy access to see who your commander is, you can see it right there up front and center. Uh, actually very nice um, mm -hmm. in order to see that just for either... Uh, presentation purposes or just to keep things organized as well. Definitely. Also a good transition to our next uh, variation or setup we've got here. Obviously, uh, shout out Modfly Altars real quick. This is Jim's deck. He's got this very nice altar and it is in one of our, I think you have them over here, yes. these GameGenic slide card cases. So it's like a, a sliding piece of plastic. It's thicker. And one of the other features of the Bastion is that it's a little wider than a typical deck box so that this fits in here. Mm -hmm. If you've got a fancy, pro uh, not proxy, altar, um, artist proof, something like that, or just you just know a, a high, high value commander if you're 
playing a nice farming tribal with <laughs> Angus McKenzie. Shout out Jerry too. Uh, that card's like three hundred dollars now yes. or something. You're right, right. So you can throw that in there, and like Bill said, you know, it's one piece of plastic. You can see it beautifully displayed there. And this uh, sort of variation or setup we've got here. This is a hundred single sleeved cards. We've got the slide case for your fancy commander, and it holds. 20 tokens in the box with it. Mm -hmm. I don't know of any other deck box that does that, right? So... No, it's uh, it's really nice to be able to just sort of have everything all in one contained thing. One unit instead of having, you know, multiple boxes for your tokens and your, you know, if your commander is in one of these slide cases. Uh, there are existing products on the market that are like this, and mm -hmm. as somebody who has used them, uh, they don't fit in, in standard deck boxes very easily. So the fact that this is all just one, and it's, it's all in one solution is actually quite nice. Definitely. I guess, yeah, moving on to our next one here, we've got this is uh, actually my personal deck. So this is, um, I guess, sleeved in what I had already been using. So kind of to compare with other products, uh, sleeve-wise at least, KMC Inners, mm -hmm. uh, Dragon Shield Outers. Again, it's uh, 100 double-sleeved cards. And I actually managed to fit... So again, 100 double-sleeved. The Dragon Shield sleeves are a little thicker than mm -hmm. the Game Genic sleeves. So if you are going all-out Game Genic brand, it'll even fit probably a little nicer than this. Uh, but it, two mm -hmm. of the slide cases for, again, this is a, a partner commander deck, so you can fit both of them there. I, I did just end up putting both at the back, but you could put like one at the back, one at the front, kind of mm -hmm. still see both of them. But again, you know, no movement in there fits very nicely. No worry about like damaging or bending any cards. I guess another feature just to show off quickly here mm -hmm. is the Bastion has this kind of locking mechanism that's a little different. So you kind of slide it on on the back and it clicks into place mm -hmm. and that sort of stops it from like you you are not getting this open mm -hmm. unless you want to right yeah you you could run this over you could if jim's being a jerk off camera you could throw this at him the and cards I, are not coming out of and i will um but yeah the, the nice thing about this is um the locking mechanism is very solid uh mm -hmm. they made it specifically so that if you try to open it um sort of like you would expect a traditional box to open just by pulling these two halves apart you kind of won't unless you really really reef on it and obviously then your card would probably go flying everywhere so you don't really want to do that mm -hmm. um there is sort of a little cutout here uh generally that's kind of where you'll put your thumb and then you kind of split it apart like that and it comes apart really easily that way which is good because it's a very intentional way to reopen something kind of like um, cracking an egg maybe something like that <laughs> i've never cooked <laughs> Me um, there is also sort of an alternate way you can do it because they are a little bit wider um, if you put your fingers on either side and sort of squeeze the bottom, that sort of releases the locking mechanism and you can do it that way as well. So yeah, other than that though, if you're not trying to get it open, it will likely stay closed for you. Definitely. Uh, and then last uh, setup we've got here. This is um, something we use pretty frequently and mm -hmm. we imagine other people do too. This is a fully proxied deck. So it is 100 game genic sleeves with uh, just a bulk card and like a little slip of printer paper to denote the, the card that you're using. Mm -hmm. uh, and again, look, fits in there awesomely. And it even has room for, again, one of these little uh, double life counters or tokens. Uh, this deck didn't happen to need tokens, I guess. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, everything fits in there perfectly. Uh, again, no risk of damaging anything. And it's uh, snug and tight. Yeah. And our uh, general experience is that uh, one of these types of proxied cards, where it's just a card plus a sheet of uh, printer paper, is roughly the same as like a double sleeved card. So something mm -hmm. that would be in an inner sleeve and the regular thing, it is very comparable in terms of fitness. Definitely. So this would be, again, just another example of like a double sleeved deck. So mm -hmm. you're not going to run out of, uh, out of room with these very easily. You're going to have to try. A <laughs> mm -hmm. uh, couple other features we wanted to run down with you. There's this little, you probably can't see it too well on the camera, maybe on this one. Uh, there's this little indentation with the, the Game Genic branding on it right there. And that's actually designed for this little sticker that each of the Bastions comes with. That you can write your deck name on there, stick it on the box, and then boom. I know people love labeling stuff. A mm -hmm. <laughs> mm -hmm. um, couple other things. These are the Bastion 100 Plus XL. That means any Game Genic product that says 100 plus XL on it is going to have the same inner dimensions. So uh, here's one we prepared earlier. Mm -hmm. 
Bill's got the side holder. So just the, yeah, this this is the watchtower. This is the side holder. It also fits in the sidekick or the squire if you like the up yes. uh, upright orientation instead. But again, this fits in here like this. It'll fit in here like this as well. Uh, the outer walls are obviously a bit thicker, but other than that, the inner dimensions, again, exactly the same. Something else that's really cool about these Bastion XLs, uh, like you said, it's all sort of built to work within the same ecosystem. Uh, something that I think is really cool that with these watchtowers, uh, they come with a little um, sort of, yeah, they come in with a little insert uh, that usually holds your deck and it sort of slides in like that. Um, but because these are both the same size, you could actually, if you wanted to instead, just slot these in like that. So you could have, you know, your setup for when you go to F&M. Um, you could have your uh, your dice tray that comes with it with our lovely Spike Feeders dice, uh, especially the large ones that you can find on spikefeeders.com. Spikefeeders.com. Um, so you could have this just being your setup, and then you can just say, you know what, I want to play this deck today. Just slot it in, put that in your bag, and you're ready to go. So yeah. I think that that's really neat too. Exactly. Kind of a nice, easy one deck setup, right? Mm -hmm. Which again, very typical commander player setup, I think. Absolutely, yeah. So speaking of uh, players on the go mm -hmm. uh, for sort of their, their weekly commander event or something, um, we also have the card shell here from Gamegenic. Mm -hmm. And something that's really cool, these come with two uh, internal dividers, these Velcro dividers. You can actually take one of them out. Um, and one of these will fit in there perfectly, just like that. And then you have extra room for uh, your additional tokens if you're playing something that just makes an absolute metric ton of tokens, or you're playing Cathar's Crusade and you need like <laughs> need an actual so pocket many full of dice. dice. <laughs> you can fit those in there too. You have another uh, little pocket there for uh, even another life counter or something like that, mm -hmm. and uh, then you're ready to go. You can just zip that up and you're on your way. And when you're you know carrying a deck box like this around in something like this, you know sometimes uh, they get scuffed, they peel on the edges or something like that. But these are actually like. Even though the diff they come in like the different colors and some of them look frosted or whatever, these are all glossy finished. Mm -hmm. So it's gonna look the same like in two years or so as it does today. You're still gonna be able to see the commander on that side and everything. Yep. It's gonna look good. So thank you once again to, uh, to Gamegenic for sponsoring this demonstration of their new Bastion 100 Plus XL. Mm -hmm. um, really exciting product. Uh, I think it's gonna be really uh, kind of a game changer for people especially that use uh, more protection for their decks on average that either make them a little bit bulkier or like we were saying with those slide cases is um, just, you know, for people, for the more discerning individual who wants to really uh, care about the quality of their of their cards. Definitely, yeah. So keep an eye out on these. They'll be in local game stores near you or on the Gamegenic website. Uh, and actually, just quickly, we need to mention as well, uh, MSRP on these is $11.99 USD. So, I mean, that's what a deck box costs you nowadays, right? Mm -hmm. It's not like they're hiking up the price for such a good quality product, which is great to see. Absolutely. And for our fellow Canadians, obviously you can you can look it up, but it's about 15 bucks, which again is about what we would pay anyway. So yeah, <laughs> um, yeah like Bill said, thanks for joining us and uh, see you around.